Hi there everybody, Ollie here, aka Secret Nimbus here, with another episode of Test Pat Please Ignore 2. So at the end of my last episode, I had been working a little bit on the steam, uh, making my flintlock musket and also the exosuit, which I'm going to put on the back burner for now. Um, all the Flaxbeard steam power stuff, realised after doing some testing off camera using um, creative mode, uh, in just a test world that basically the flash boilers with flax speed steam power can't produce anywhere near enough steam to run a big turbine whereas if we come over here well I've already set up because stupidly um, I decided to you know lose an episode I I was streaming last night had my OBS setting set to streaming mode so when I went to record today completely forgetting that I'd left it on streaming mode I recorded an entire episode but didn't actually record any of the footage so basically uh, in the last episode I set up all of these steam boilers and also started making some also went looking for enderium for different bits and bobs but annoyingly um, that all that footage got lost but I can show you what I've done. So basically what I've got here is three steam boilers. Now they're struggling for coal right now because basically they require a hell of a lot of it to actually um, to run efficiently. Uh, so at the moment, I don't know if it's worth setting up some... What's the word I'm looking for? Some creosote ovens? Is that the right word? Let's go railcraft. Railcraft. Um, coke oven even, sorry. I wonder if it's worth setting up some coke ovens or not and just like burning charcoal in there to produce um, coal coke or just leave the charcoal running because basically these steam boilers get more efficient the hotter they get so at the moment they're basically still heating up uh, and at the moment my supply is basically just not meeting demand like I've got three um, three three factories all kind of smelting charcoal uh, all trying to fill up these steam boilers and they're uh, not really keeping up so far. Maybe should have just done one at a time. But basically, once all three of these are up to speed and running at max efficiency, they'll be producing enough steam to run the biggest um, big turbine that you can run. Uh, in future, I've also got plans to convert this big big reactor over to just producing steam for another big turbine. But for now, I'm just going to try and run a big turbine off of these steam boilers. I mean, potentially I may actually shut one of these down just because I don't think I'm going to need as much steam as they're producing to run the kind of the small turbine that I want to... Uh... Let me just disconnect from the IRC as well. forgot about that. Yeah, so... I might not need all three of these and I may have just wasted like tons and tons of charcoal but eh, we'll see how it goes so yeah today I want to set up a big turbine so big turbines big boilers big power yeah so what do we need for a big turbine now let's have a quick search for turbines so we need several things it's very similar to a big reactor in which we need a controller uh, some housings a power port we need a fluid port now instead of a react instead of like a reactant port we need turbine rotor bearings we need a rotor shaft rotor blades and then we need we can have some glass if we want to have a look inside and then also we need some kind of block to act as the kind of it's like a, 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 a material that, that it like conducts the electricity or something like that produced by the um by the turbine so let's get going so let's start planning this out so to construct a turbine housing i'm gonna need some nether quartz so i'm gonna need to grab it from over here Grab a stack, and there we go. Let's go back to the hub. Hopefully we've got enough nether quartz, fingers crossed. So we also need cyanite. Now cyanite we get from, if we go over to the big reactor, so as the fuel in here burns, so as the eulorium burns, what it actually produces is cyanite. So we've actually got plenty of cyanite here, which is quite nice. How much quartz are these up there? About half of it to make a stack of turbine housing. Not too bad. Money to, money to get, go mine some more quartz at some point, but I'll do that off camera. Um, so yeah, so to make the turbine housing, we need both nether quartz, steel or reinforced iron, some graphite, and like I said, this cyanite, which a... So basically, to actually make one of these big turbines, you need to have one of these passive reactors working first, burning its fuel to make the cyanite. You can tr turn cyanite into plutonium using a plutonium... Have we got a or no, it's a cyanide re cyanide reprocessor. So you can use this cyanide reprocessor here to turn the cyanide back to turn the cyanide into plutonium, and that plutonium we can actually burn instead of eulorium. So uh, potentially, I can turn some of my um, eulor uh, cyanide that I've burnt uh, in the reactor back into plutonium and reburn it in the big reactor, which is quite nice. So you basically get half of your um, half of it back to reburn, which is pretty sweet. Let's go back to the turbines, however. That's some more advanced stuff. So let's build ourselves a turbine controller, which apparently we need... Do we actually need plutonium for that? 
Ah, right, we need some plutonium. So it looks like we're actually making ourselves a cyanite reprocessor right now. So can I make one of them? I can because I've got the react. No, I can't because what am I missing? A eulorium fuel rod. Okay, we can make that real quick. There we go, one cyanite reprocessor. Now I'm going to dump this on some kind of water source, I think, because it needs um, water to actually run. And then we're going to need some cyanite. So I think we need one, two, three, four. Oops, a daisy. Why do I keep clicking five? I am just going full retard, aren't I? So let me dump the cyanite reprocessor down here, like so. So it needs water to run. So if we set the configuration to having water going at the bottom, there we go. Dropping the cyanite, like so. Oh yeah, we need power for it as well, don't we? Crap. Uh, let me wrench you up, actually. That's not the best place. Maybe ore processing. Do we have water here? We do have water here. Uh, and then we need some kind of power. Uh, this is getting very complicated all of a sudden. I need like energy conduits. Let me make some more of them. So we need enhanced energy conduits. Can I make some? Nope, because I haven't got enough energetic alloy. Have I got any at all? None there. Got any here? Nope, I am completely out of energy conduits. Fantastic, that's what I like to see. Um, where do I have power that also has water? I don't know. Is there any here? No, it's going to have to be over in the ore processing, I think. So let me head over that way. So where can I put this? Maybe like here? So if we destroy you. Is there any power around here somewhere? Uh, I think where I can actually put you, which is kind of weird. Or maybe I just get some fluid conduits and run them to the nearest power. So let me get... Uh, where's my fluid conduits? There's some. That'll do. So where the hell is the nearest power to here? Okay, so maybe I can just dump it like, say... Uh, I, I only need this for a second, don't I? Do I have a leadstone energy cell somewhere? I can always set this up properly later on. I'm just looking for... That's what I'm looking for, a hardened energy cell. So let me pop back over to here. Where's it gone? So put you there. Put you there. Uh, we want... So I think we want water in at the back. There we go. It's now got power, I hope. Make sure this is set to output to the side. Not doing anything? Um... Now has it got power? Nope. Now? What the hell? Um, so let me make sure this is on the right one. So I think I want uh, yellow on that side and then we need to flick around. Why is this not working? Um, let me destroy you for a second. We'll get this working eventually, I'm sure. So we make sure we need to output to the top. Oh, there we go, now it's got power. Excellent, that's what we're looking for. And then we can just put water in from the back. There we go. Make sure that, that is set to receive water, which it now is. Okay, we're good to go. Let's uh, let's get the, this, let's get the cyanide reprocessing. Excellent, we got there eventually. Jesus Christ, as you can see, it doesn't really take a lot of power to reprocess it, which is quite cool. So yeah, we need to get, let's go back to turbine. So Daisy. There we go. So yeah, we needed two plutonium to make a turbine controller. There we go. Got a plutonium. That's where we're heading for. One turbine controller. We need a turbine power port for obvious reasons to uh, actually pull some power out. We need a we need one of these turbine rotors. So we first of all need to make uh, what was it two turbine rotor shafts. Because this is uh, basically what we get the power from, or what generates the power. It's like a rotor bearing or something like that. I don't know how the, how, how the physics of this work, but um, we need two... We need just the one fluid port, I think. What are we missing? Oh, there we go. One fluid port to put the uh, steam in. There we go. Um, so let me start laying this out. So I don't know how big I want to make this. I did. I do have like a five by five area laid out. But I'm thinking maybe go for, I don't know. Let's destroy this marble. Maybe go for five by five at first, and then so that is actually completely out of charcoal, whereas this one isn't because it's receiving it first. That's going to start cooling down, which is not particularly good. Um, how's the charcoal situation looking? I almost want to say just do it round robin. 
Or do we just go for one for now and then kind of ramp it up? Can I ram robin enabled? Will that work? There we go. So it's actually going to start putting charcoal in all of these. Like, so let me grab what two stacks out of here. Put one in there and one in there, just so they don't like boil dry or like kind of cool off. So yeah, let me start laying this out. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, is that five? No, not quite. Here we go. So this won't be the most efficient turbine. Like I said, I'm thinking of just like disabling this, let, let it cool down. I don't know. I can't, can't decide whether or not I only need one or two right now. We'll see how much steam this requires before uh, deciding that. So let me start laying this out. So what we're going to need to do is uh, we need a turbine controller like there. Uh, do I have the power port? I'm sure I have the power port. Where's it gone? Weird. Me, oops, a daisy. Let me zip back over wherever my uh, what are they called travel anchors have gone. Oops, a daisy. Always helps if you don't zip over it. Come on, turbine. Oh, there we go. Power port, excellent. And the rotor bearing, weird. Put the marble away. Uh, okay, we also want some turbine glass. Now, I think I've been making up some. Yep, hardened glass right there. Perfect. Lots and lots of hardened glass, which is what we want to see. What did I just chuck in there? I have no idea. Oh, it's apples. That's fine. I can always get apples out later. There we go. Um, okay, so let's make some turbine glass. Just going to use turbine housing. So we, we don't need a lot of this. Just enough to kind of have a looking side, I suppose. Oh, God, that used fused quartz. Why would you do that? Oh, that's just used all like my fused quartz, isn't it? Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, no, 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 it's fine. I just remembered that I've got more fused quartz in here somewhere. Nope, I apparently just used up all of my fused quartz. Oh, great. Uh, let me get some more quartz out because I need to make more fused quartz now. Uh, I need it for something else in a second. I can't remember what, but I know I need fused quartz. And then the game does that to me. Right, we're going to leave fused quartz there for now. I'm going to use hardened glass instead. Ugh, come on, game. Don't do this to me. There we go. So I don't know if we need more than that, but we're going to need definitely going to need some more turbine housings. There we go. Right, so we're also going to need some electrum blocks. Now, I, as much as I'd like to use Enderium, I've only got 100 of that, whereas I've got 376 electrum. So um, I want to make, I think I want, what's 8 times 3? I want 24 blocks if I can make that. One, two, three, four. There we go. So basically, I, I'm not entirely sure what the best kind of um, setup is for this. I also need some turbine shafts, I've just realised. Uh, so we need one, two, three of these for now. I'm going to need more in a second, but we'll get we'll get we'll get to that. So start putting it together. Let's start putting this in. So the fluid port I'll put in in a minute. Uh, the um, power port has gone missing. Oh no, there it is. Power port. Power port, uh, potentially I want it somewhere like here so I can actually just kind of, when I've got some conduits, are they still burning? They are still going, which is all right. They've burnt through their charcoal like super duper quickly. Apparently I'm just not producing anywhere near enough, which is not fun, but hey ho. Uh, fluid port I will put in last because I need to just like set it up with, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um with a tesseract in a second because the way that these produce steam and the way that you can extract it so to start building it we're going to need to put turbine rotor shaft in there like so we then need electron blocks start doing this here we go so we need three layers of these to get going with well it's what i'm going to build it with anyway i don't know how efficient this is going to be this is probably horribly inefficient but it's just my first one um i'm still kind of low on resources so so we need to kind of build this up. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay, so that's the first stage over. So now what we need to do is make some more of these turbine rotor shafts and also some turbine blades. So I don't know. Let's make... Uh, should we make eight for now? So we're going to need 32 of these turbine rotor blades. So, oh, wh whoops, today we made 64. Oh, well, never mind. We'll need, we'll need more later on. So I need 32 of them. How much reinforced iron have I got right now? 43 reinforced iron. How much steel have we got? 
None. Okay, so we're going to need to possibly make some more of that in a minute. In theory. So I didn't actually need to be, need, mean to make that much. Uh, I thought I was going to make far less than that, but I derped out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is quite a big one. So it should make a fair amount of energy. So what we need to start doing now is building it up like so. So we build up like a, so like I said, it's a turbine. So we put steam in, it drives these rotor shafts. It's very clever. Looks really cool once it's finally built. So Daisy, don't need that like right yet. So once we double this up, I will need those extra blades to kind of double them outwards. But uh, we'll get onto that later. So we need to build this up. So I'm probably gonna need a ton more reinforced iron. Let's get let's get doing that now. While 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 we're building this, I'll go make some more reinforced iron. So if we can actually get on the hub, I need uh, coal dust. So I need one, two, three, four, and then we need some iron. One, two, perfect. Where's my induction smelter? There, perfect. So we can go one and two, and then one, two, do, do, do. that should make refined iron in a second, which it is, I think. There we go, some fused quartz for later on. Yeah, I remember while I was building that now. I'll show you in a minute. But uh, where were we? So are these guys still heating up? What are we up to? We're up to 400 on that one. 335. 323. So yeah, I think I just need to build more... Um, what's the one I'm looking for? Uh, just to inc increase my charcoal production, at least until they're up to temperature. Okay, we're looking good here though. So we've almost finished constructing the blade. So as you can see, big turbines are kind of huge compared to the big reactors, but they do produce like an absolute crap ton of power once they're actually finished. So build you like so, and then what we need to do is start building this upwards. Okay, like so. So we're gonna need some more uh, turbine housings and the turbine glass. So what I'm gonna do with the terms of the turbine glass is probably have uh, have it on two sides, so how much are we going to need? Let's try to figure this out. I think we're going to need like 24 maybe? So 48. So let me just think. So yeah, we're at 8 high, 3 wide, so we need 48 turbine glass. And I use 3, 6, 9, 12, 14. So I need another 34 turbine glass. So yeah, I need a hell of a lot of uh, turbine glass. Let's make some more of these. What am I missing? Oh, graphite, of course. Let's whack two lots in there. 20 more turbine housings. What am I missing now? Oh, nether quartz. That's fine. That's not a problem. We've still got that. I hope. Yep, we've still got 62 of you. Let's drop you there and there. There we go. We've got 44, which is... I don't know if that's enough or not. But... Uh, so how much do we need of this? So I needed 40, 34 of this. Let me just make sure I've got enough. There we go. Perfect. Right. Just so we know. Oh, whoops a daisy. Let me get the turbine housings out. Just so we know how much we need in terms of that as well. Let me double check this. So... Da, 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 da. So this should hopefully produce us a crap ton of power. Would be nice. I don't know how much it's going to produce, but I'm assuming it's going to be quite a bit. Build you up. There we go. So is it worth making more of this turbine glass? Because we essentially get two um, two blocks per per reactor. Because because the um, hardened glass is fairly cheap. It's just lead and pulverized obsidian versus um, the actual turbine housing. We get double we essentially double up our like blocks that we can use down the middle. So I'm thinking just like double up on the sides as well, because it'll save me having to fill it in. So I still have to have these on the sides, but I'm probably just going to fill in the middles with the with the rest of these. So I need another 48 uh glass basically. So Daisy, let me destroy you. So I'm gonna need some more turbine housing first before we can build some more turbine glass. So we need at least 24 turbine housing and then turn all that into glass and then there we go. And then we just need to complete the top in a second. So the uh, turbine rotor blade goes on top like so. 
So we're almost done. We just need a little bit more, and then we can get this running, which is pretty cool. Are these still heating up? That's up to 400, so not the greatest. So like I said, we need to kind of increase our charcoal production, I think. Or just stop all of these, um, what the word I'm looking for, these sterling generators running, because once we've got this big turbine going, we probably won't need these anymore. I'm just going to just disable these. At least disable a few more. They're still running for now, so hopefully long enough to actually get the uh, big turbine up and running. There we go. So let me just keep doing this. So I'm just going to disable a few more of these. They'll, they'll burn. They'll burn while I'm. Uh, they'll burn what's left in them for a while. So I just want them disabled just so all of the charcoal is going directly into the um, furnace, into them instead. So, so no, no charcoal is going into them. Should all of them be going, in theory, directly into these. So hopefully we should get some more charcoal going there, which is quite nice. Right, where were we? So yeah, we need some more turbine housings. Right, where were we? Yes, reinforced iron is there. Excellent. So we need 24 of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Uh, where's my hardened glass? So boff, boff. 48. Perfect. Right. So let's go over to the reactor. Let's add this in. So we're just going to build this up. Can these builders wand on that? I have no idea, but I don't think I've got it on me right now. There we go. Break that because I'm I'm, a, I'm an idiot for placing it down incorrectly. Okay, so we do this side. I think this is one of the biggest big reactors I've ever, uh, big turbines I've ever made. Pretty crazy. So now to finish it off, we need uh, about twenty and about another twenty-four um, reactor casings actually. So that's pretty cool. So if we make these again, one, two, three, what am I missing? Oh, more uh, reinforced iron, of course. How are we doing? Got a bit more, which is cool. There we go. Let me just wait for a few more to go through. Uh, while I'm at it, I'm going to start building the... Um, so while that's working, I'm going to start working on how I'm going to get the steam in. So first things first, I'm going to need some conduits. So I'm going to need some of these pressurized fluid conduits. So these... Are no, sorry, the end of fluid conduits even is what I want. So basically these can extract 200 millibuckets per tick, whereas my basic ones can only extract 50. These extract 200. So to extract, so each of these big, um, so each of these steam boilers that we've produced using Railcraft, these all, when they're running at max speed with the max amount, when they're at max temperature, max speed, they'll produce 720 millibuckets per tick of steam. So to do that, we're going to have to have at least four of these pressurized fluid conduits all pulling steam out and we want basically all of them going into a tesseract so we're going to need to make a couple of tesseracts one for the input one for the output so actually we're going to need four together so we're going to need four tesseracts right one two three four right so we need to fill these with ender so that's not what we want let's start melting down some ender pearls and putting these in so will that fill it all because we need four ender pearls to fill up a tesseract frame i believe uh yeah so we need four so that will actually be enough there to fill one of these up then we'll be making the tesseract so i only need one stack of ender pearls which is fine by me how much more of the reinforced iron have we got is that enough to make the rest of the uh let's go back to turbine so one two three four no, not quite enough. So we need one one more, literally one more refined iron and we're good to go. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Boom. There we go, 24. So that should finish off the big turbine. Um, so that's slowly filling up the Tesseract frames. We're also going to need, like I said, the conduit. So if I grab my fuse quartz, we're going to need to make... What are we going to need to make? So we're going to need to make uh, some vibrant alloy. Do I have any vibrant alloy, actually? No, I don't. So we need some vibrant alloy first. How do we make that again? So alloy smelter. So we need energetic alloy and an ender pearl. So 
Let's grab the one one of the two energetic alloys we've got and and no, we sorry we need two of them, don't we? So we need two energetic alloys. Two ender pearls. We'll smelt them in the alloy smelter. Boom boom. Perfect. Oh, so we did. Oh yeah, we're waiting for our tesseract frames, aren't we? So we're uh, almost there. In terms of them, there we go. We've got our four tesseracts. Got one vibrant alloy. Come on. And two vibrant alloys in the chest. Put them in, so then we can make the. Oh, do I need more conduit binder? Hang on, let me. Do I have any binder composite? No, I do not. So let me make some more binder composite. Make a stack of you. Smelt it up, like so. Oops, the daisy went one too far there. So then we should, in theory, be able to make, once we've got some more of that, once we've got some more of the binder. There we go, conduit binder. So one, and we need a little bit more in a second. So we need two lots of two lots of this recipe because we need four of these per boiler to actually pull out the maximum amount of steam into a Tesseract each. Let's put the Tesseract frames away. There we go, there's the second recipe. We then need to make two Tesseracts. Oh, sorry, four Tesseracts, so one, two, three, four. Boom. Clear that. Okay, so let's finish off our uh, big turbine. So, let's start off with turbine housing. So we do the 24. Because we need 5x5 five five minus 1, which is the uh, turbine rotor bearing. Boom! One big turbine complete. So it's all ready to go as it's uh, made the multi block structure, which is cool. Cool. So we now need to get these steam boilers underway. They are still heating up just very, very slowly now as there's only so much charcoal coming in. So what we need to do now is to go 1, 2, 3, 4. Tesseract. Uh, set these to extract without signal. So I'm hoping they're going to pull out steam. Should do. Going to the Tesseract, so we'll call this 10 of steam. There we go, and we want it to item mode block, fluid mode, send only. There we go. So that is now good to go, so that will be sending um, steam like so. We'll do the same with all of these. Set these all to extract mode. Now is this pulling out steam? I can't really tell. Oops, so Daisy was just throwing away conduits here. Like it's nobody's business. So they all set to extract mode. We drop down a tesseract, which we set to the steam frequency. Block you. Block you. Fluid mode sent only. Perfect. And again, we'll do the same with this uh, boiler. Marvellous, marvellous much steam um, and then set that to steam just realized how is that looking so what we need to do is set that to insert only so it inserts into that one insert and insert right there we go so then what we need to do next is whack this last turbine Oh, yes, of course, we needed the um, fluid port. Where the hell did I put that? That is a good question. Where the hell did I... Have I even still got the fluid port? It's probably in my ME system. Let me go and find that. So, fluid port. Um, where's it gone? Did I use it up by accident? So, if we go to turbine. Truebine. Turbine, even. We need one of these uh, fluid ports. Uh, what am I missing from that? So we need some turbine housings, which apparently we need more refined iron for, of course. There we go, got plenty now. Oops, a daisy. There we go, chuck you in. That's not what I wanted, I wanted the fluid port. I think I might have used it up by accident to craft like the uh, turbine glass, which would be, would be a bit silly of me. That was a bit of a waste of the resources, so now what we need to do is what I'm going to do is just put the fluid port in at the top here because you can have it anywhere effectively which goes back in we can then set this to steam to receive only so that should now be receiving steam in theory so is that are these extracting steam I can't actually tell 
Let's go get to the turbine. So, oh yeah, it has got steam. Excellent. We can now activate the turbine. Watch it uh, rev up as the steam is used up. So basically what we want it to see is this going somewhere near either 900 or 1800 RPM to get maximum amount of redstone flux per tick. So the rotor speed is increasing. So we can f adjust the flow of steam to uh, affect the RPM. Let's have a sip of drink quick. As I have been talking for half an hour. So how we're looking. So the RPM is increasing, as is the redstone flux per tick. So this is up to a thousand already. Now, as comparison, so this huge big reactor we got here is producing about 8.4. So this, wow, look at that go. That is insane. That's how we go. So we're up to almost 900 RPM, and this is so far producing two and a half thousand redstone flux per tick. So we really need to get some energy conduits in here to actually start um, taking advantage of the power. Maybe might just uh, make a uh, couple of test racks to do it, just wirelessly. So we're up to over 900 RPM, which is looking good so far. I want to see if we can get up to... Um, so as you can see, this is actually reducing down the amount of RF per tick. Because it's gone over 900, um, it's now becoming inefficient. So we're down to 3,000. But as this draws closer to 1,800, it'll actually start to become more efficient again. So I think what this basically is showing this graph here is that like this area, this is where it's like efficient. And then again, as we start to approach 1800, it'll, be, it'll increase in its efficiency again. So rotor, rotor efficiency is at 64%. Um, so obviously, if we were use, be, using better materials, this would be higher. So this is looking pretty good in terms of the... Uh, so the RF is starting to go up again. So we want it as close to 1800 RF per tick as possible. How's the steam looking here? Wow, they're almost drained. So maybe you want to limit it back down to 900. Yeah, I want to limit this back down to 900. So, oops, a daisy. So, can I get this down? It's really variable. Is that going to start increasing again? I have no idea. So, I could do with, like reducing down the flow rate. So, it's getting close to. Uh, it seems the seems kind of fluctuating about everywhere. Is this is this holding steady now? I uh, can't really tell. So this will be better once I've actually got more uh, more temperature in there. Just need to let it heat up. So that's still kind of going crazy. Let me reduce this down a little bit. There we go. That's holding. That's holding steady now. Are we getting anywhere close to eighteen hundred? Or do I limit it down further so it's down back down at nine hundred? No, this is producing a lot of RF per tick. Put it that way. If I can get it slightly closer to eighteen hundred, that would be fantastic. It's slowly climbing, so it's, as is the RF per tick. So I'm willing to let it carry on for now. It's looking good. We're getting close to 5,000 RF per tick, which is awesome. So once we get in more steam, we'll be good as well. Once these are like running at maximum efficiency, we'll be we'll be absolutely singing in terms of the RF. Okay, so I might leave it here for now. Come back to you, have a have a play around off camera, see what we can do. But this is looking pretty good. So the rotor efficiency is now 100%, which is cool. The RF per tick is approaching 5,000, just from a little bit of charcoal and some steam boilers. So we're looking pretty good. They are still heating up. They're just going to take a while to like reach the really high temperatures now. So I might just have to increase the number of uh, factories I've got burning charcoal. So they didn't get stuck there. So all of these are now disabled. Once I actually use the big turbine to generate my power we should be fine because these are all like maxed out so i could do with like two more of these factories all producing charcoal really to hopefully feed them which i think i might do soon these are burning they're just not burning very fast they're going up in temperature so that's still approaching um 1800 we'll let, we'll, we'll let it keep going up see if it'll reach there it's only going up very slowly it's basically just going to keep going up as more steam is provided to it so that's holding pretty firm there can i increase this a little bit can we go to 850 that'll increase the rpm even more on our rf per tick okay so i think we've been pretty successful we've managed to create a nice looking uh, big turbine to uh go to increase our power generation so we've almost doubled it right now in terms of um, the amount of RF per tick we're generating we just keep going up so as you can see as it's approaching that green line the uh, the magical 1800 
uh we're gonna produce like way way more so yeah this is awesome so i'm gonna leave the episode here for now as always guys don't forget to comment and like if you've enjoyed the episode and i'll see you next time goodbye <laughs>